one would just hand over their personal information to thieves. But a CBS4 investigation found a Denver staffing agency made it easy for the bad guys by casting off sensitive information provided by job applicants. Investigator Brian Moss has been hunting down that company and the potential victims. What have you learned? Well, the company simply just went out of business. They closed their doors and they left behind files like these from job applicants containing social security numbers, tax forms, copies of driver's licenses, everything identity thieves would need to cause big problems. What you look at there? This was not what Greg Frakes expected to find. Moved out with the exception of the, the boxes of stuff they left in the bag. When Mile High Staffing suddenly up and left the Denver storefront, he rented to them. It seems like there's hundreds of personnel files here. The company abandoned boxes of job applications packed with critical personal information. Photocopies of applicants' licenses, social security card signatures, tax forms. How do you think these people would feel about having their personal information left behind like this? You couldn't imagine they're going to be very happy. I thought that it would be disposed of properly or taken care of with care. Isaac Gomez was not happy at all. He applied with Mile High Staffing last year, giving them copies of his social security card, driver's license, W-4 tax form, and more. We found his information left behind in these boxes. Just all out there for anybody to just walk along and pick up. Same for Edward Cruz. I mean, they have a basically a blueprint of my life so they could just do whatever they want. Cruz thought the company would protect his critical information. Well, somebody got this information, they can um, basically rack up a bunch of charges under your name or buy something under your name. I think it's quite stunning and a breach of trust for this information to not be safeguarded. Former state representative Cole Wist sponsored this data privacy law last year, aimed at preventing exactly what we found. It goes beyond negligence. I mean, this is grossly negligent for uh, someone to not take reasonable care. We returned Edward Cruz's file and did the same for Isaac Gomez. Both planned to shred the documents. I just think the, can the company needs to be held accountable for doing this just because it's putting all these people at risk. People's sensitive personal information. So we tracked down the former office manager for Mile High Staffing to return those files. Do you know why you guys left this stuff behind? I'm not sure why it was left behind. But you know this should not have happened. Correct. I'm sick. <laughs> it it's given, makes me nauseous that people don't care. Mile High's former office manager said all those files would now be shredded. She blamed what happened on a moving company. Colorado does now have a strict data privacy law which dictates how companies are supposed to handle this kind of information, and companies should familiarize themselves with yeah. that so this doesn't happen. Yeah, for sure. All right, Brian, thank you. you